push buttons. Action to bring you a family sensitive newscast. A gunman armed to the hilt firing off round after round, a night of terror for hundreds of Hollywood residents. Make no mistake, the Summit of the Americas is about to start and security is flying high. And buyer beware, a shame on your report that finds a local appliance store hitting a short circuit with consumers. Our top stories on Action News, I'm Stan Miller. And I'm Ileana Varela in for Barbara Sloan. Imagine sitting in your home and suddenly hearing gunfire, then realizing it's coming from inside your own building. Hundreds of Hollywood residents didn't have to imagine it. They lived through that terror as a gunman held police at bay four hours last night. Six Action News is live on the scene with reporter John Dutzman, who has more details. John? Leanna, we were the first crew live on this scene. It was quite terrifying. A man was on the balcony of this building behind me. He went berserk. He was firing shots all over the place. Things were calm in Hollywood this morning quite quiet when the body of James Christian was loaded into this van. And we're doing this for your own safety, okay? But last night, residents were terrified. Police took cover behind squad cars. The SWAT team roamed the streets. That's because a 54-year-old man with a history of mental problems was firing shots from this balcony of the Cambridge Towers. Police responded to the building on an attempted suicide call. He had repeatedly fired upon police officers and police vehicles. And our uh, sharpshooter was given the instruction that if he, was to, if he opened fire again on an officer to take a shot for the safety of our officers. Police say the man began firing again and the sharpshooter killed him. It was absolutely terrifying. It was so loud, so repeated, and so consistent. It, it sounded like... Um, an arsenal. We spoke to one witness out there and she said it sounded like this guy had an arsenal and I guess he did. Yes he did. Um, originally we found a high-powered rifle. Uh, he had a couple handguns actually in his pocket, some other handguns throughout the apartment, a shotgun and uh, loaded magazines throughout the apartment in every room and uh, over a thousand rounds of ammunition. And they say that was enough ammunition to keep this man firing away all night. Late information here, this person had a criminal record. He was convicted of grand larceny back in 1988. He had a history of mental illness. He was on drugs for his mental problems, history of drug abuse. Also was a Vietnam vet, according to our sources, a bail bondsman and a psychologist. We also understand he had some weapons inside there, bombs and grenades. The police didn't even know what these things were. They had to call in the bomb squad. How exactly a man with all these problems and with a record had these devices, we don't know. Reporting live on the scene in Hollywood Beach, John Dutzman, 6 Action News. All right, John, thank you very much. Well, the countdown is underway to the Summit of the Americas and the frenzied preparations are... But the man on medication, reportedly feeling depressed, never shot himself, firing wildly, cops say, at everyone and everything else, until a sharpshooter fired back. So that is how it all ended. How it began? Well, according to his friends, it began at that neighborhood pub where he had gone to give out presents as the people there say he had done before and then for some reason, some 30 minutes later, began firing from the balcony. His wife said he was suicidal. We don't yet know why, but we do know that some 150 casings remain on the streets and police continue to investigate. We're live in Hollywood. Shepard Smith, 7 News. All right, thanks, Shepard. There's another big story that we are following. With the sun, it did manage to burn off today. Beautiful day all around the southeastern portion of the state. And it looks like that's the way things are going to be because it is dry north, south, east, and towards the west as well. Craig and Jessica. Tonight, live from the 7 Newsplex at 6.30. Hurt in Haiti. Two American soldiers airlifted to South Florida. The final phase of jury selection gets underway for O.J. Simpson. A California girl is finally back home after being kidnapped and taken to Russia. A split-second decision that saved this former president's life. Remembering the day that will forever live in infamy. Thank you for calling in. I've always wanted to help someone who was about to jump yeah. from a bridge. You and you've heard about Howard the Hero. Now hear his life-saving broadcast. It's all next on 7 News at 6.30.
Your South Florida Ford dealers are going for the record five. South Florida's number one choice for news and information on the one and only Channel 10. This is a Channel 10 editorial with Channel 10 Vice President and General Manager John Garwood. Money made in Dade County. Serving on duty in Haiti, the first in Hollywood after a sniper takes aim at police. It all comes to an end when the SWAT team moves in. The whole thing is caught on video, video you will see only on 7 News. This was the scene at the Cambridge Apartments complex last night. Investigators say James Christian stood on his balcony and fired at least 100 rounds at police officers. Police cars were riddled with bullets when it was over. The streets filled with casings. After several attempts to talk Christian down, the SWAT team moved in and fired and Christian was killed. We're very lucky. We are extremely lucky to think that you have an individual with a history of mental disorders who is on medication to begin with and has an arsenal of weaponry. It's amazing no one else was hurt or even killed. Well, police officers say they found an arsenal of weapons in the apartment, including a shotgun and an M16. The man's wife says Christian was suicidal with a history of depression, aggressive behavior, and drug abuse. Well, Oakland Park Police have made an arrest in the shooting of two. Police charged the parents of a dead child with murder. We'll have a live report. Firemen lambasted for making embarrassing videos of their female colleagues. Another commuter flight makes an emergency landing. Howard Stern becomes a hero, and women say it's time to redefine femininity. It's all right here on Fox 29 at 10. Snow. Female follies caught on camera. An embarrassing tape is making its way around the Los Angeles Fire Department, and a lot of women sure aren't happy about it. Why are you killing yourself? Shock jock Howard Stern, a hero. I'm Kelly Mitchell. And I'm Rick Sanchez. These stories and a whole lot more. 7 News at 10 is next. Terror on the 10th floor. A Hollywood Beach sniper unloading 150 rounds of ammunition. But in the end, a police sharpshooter fired the final shot. Tonight, we uncover a history of mental problems and medication. And we take you to the last place the Hollywood Beach sniper was seen alive. Live from South Florida's news station, WSVN7. This is 7 News at 10 o'clock. Good evening. Explosive gunfire shattering the silence of the night on Hollywood Beach. And now, almost 24 hours later, we finally have some answers. This sniper apparently with a history of mental illness trying to kill himself and terrorizing the neighborhood at the same time. Tonight, we are learning a whole lot more about this man and what may have made him snap. The night team's Glenna Milberg has been following the story. She is joining us now from Hollywood Beach, where it all went down. Glenna? Well, Rick, it looks as if James Christian lived his life around war and weapons, and actually, by profession, he was a self-professed bounty hunter. That is, he stalked fugitives. It is a lifestyle that may help shed some light on why he himself became one last night. And what happened up there on the 10th floor of that condominium was all caught on some very compelling home videotape. A reign of terror from the 10th floor balcony at Cambridge Towers condo and presiding 54-year-old James Christian, a man police called depressed, suicidal, and armed to the hilt. It was pretty frightening because he would come out and then he would shoot him off and then he would run back in. There was no way that anybody could get him. Christian reportedly showering more than 150 rounds of automatic ammo onto A1A at police cars at nearby condos a four-hour spree before a police sharpshooter in a neighboring building took aim and took him down. You have an individual with a history of mental disorders who is on medication to begin with and has an arsenal of weaponry. Seven weapons police found and they say a mound of ammunition. Tools of his trade perhaps? An ex-Marine Vietnam vet with a mercenary's tattoo on his left shoulder. Christian was also a bounty hunter, a finder of fugitives and professed to live the lifestyle. 
The theme in the life is live hard, die fast, die young. That's, that's what it's about. He was very intense about what he did. He believed in what he did. He loved what he did, that being bounty hunting. But Mike Kaplan believes Christian's renegade style gives a respectable business a bad name. It's a glimpse into what made Christian tick, perhaps, but not into what made him snap Tuesday night, the night he became the hunted. And back live now, those acquainted with him call Christian soft-spoken and friendly even. It was his wife who first called police last night and told them that her husband had locked himself in the bathroom and might have been trying to commit suicide. Of course, at this point, we may never know exactly what Christian was thinking about as he unloaded his arsenal off his 10th floor balcony. Live in Hollywood, I'm Glenna Milberg reporting live with the night team. Interestingly enough, Glenna, tonight we're also learning the last place that Christian was seen alive. It's a neighborhood bar that is called Nick's. Witnesses say that James Christian was seen there last night giving workers and friends Christmas presents. They say it's a tradition that he carried out every single year. He apparently left just 40 minutes before the shooting began. Two American soldiers hurt in Haiti. Police may have been trying to commit suicide. Now, police say 54-year-old James Christian fired about 100 shots from his balcony before a police sharpshooter killed him. Today, officers returned to 1600 South Ocean Drive to look for more evidence of that rampage, and neighbors tried to regain a sense of security after a night of terror. Everybody over there was on, on the balcony, and he's right here, so if he wanted to kill anybody, he could have taken off a lot of people over there. Cars was going up and down. I think he was just shooting up in the air. It had to be up in the air, because if he really was aiming to kill, he, all those people over there would be dead. Police say Christian was plagued by a history of mental illness. Detectives are awaiting autopsy results to determine if he was taking the right medication. Well, an ad to raise money for Israel turns out to be a... A police sharpshooter killed Christian as he stood on his balcony with a bulletproof vest on. A bizarre ending to the life of a man nicknamed Doc. Just before he snapped, he was at his favorite bar, Nick's, on Hollywood Beach. People there say he did not have a lot to drink and was handing out Christmas gifts to employees. Just an ordinary nice guy. And you hear this happens and what? I'm shocked, shocked. Nobody, nobody ever knew in a million years this would ever happen. But police say Christian has a criminal record, a history of mental problems and drug use. And Action News has learned that Christian is from the Boston area and he's used several different names. At one time he called himself James Bond. Police say they found an arsenal of weapons inside this man's apartment, a high-powered rifle, a shotgun, several handguns. This hole right here is made by a 357 Magnum, one of the more powerful handguns you can buy. But when we finally gained entry into the apartment, we actually called the bomb squad because we saw some things that we didn't recognize. He had some explosives in there as well. Friends tell us Christian was a licensed fireworks technician, and that may explain the explosives. His van tells us a lot. He was a bounty hunter and he used to put bad guys in the cage in the back. He was a Vietnam veteran and a gun fanatic. And the bumper sticker says, everyone should be required to own a gun and know how to use it. Lock and load. Now friends tell us that Christian knew how to use all kinds of guns very, very well. If he wanted to hurt or kill anyone last night, he would have done it. Reporting live on the scene in Hollywood Beach, John Dutzman, 6 Action News. Okay, John, thanks a lot. He's been called out. New pictures. And we're learning more about the man who opened fire on dozens of police officers. Also a deadly dose of chemicals. A suicidal sniper shoots up a Hollywood condominium. Tonight, for the first time, his wife is speaking out and telling us what may have made James Christian snap. Tonight, in an interview you will see only on 7, Marie Johnson Christian says her husband told her to leave, and then he disappeared into the bathroom with a gun. When I opened the door to go out, the police is already there with guns, don't move. They told me to get down to the elevator, and that just sort of set him off. It set him off to fire more than 150 rounds of ammunition using seven different weapons. Police say it is amazing that no one else got hurt. Uh, tonight we may have some new information, have some new information about James Christian. Seven News has learned tonight that he may have a past identity and may have been part of a federal witness protection program. This is a story you're only going to see right here on 7 The Night Team's Glenna Milberg with this exclusive.
The bullets rained for four hours before a police sharpshooter downed James Christian on his 10th floor balcony. No doubt of the danger, but did a government agent actually help it happen? 7 News has learned at least one FBI agent may have known all about the trap police officers walked into as they responded to the initial call of Christian's suicide attempt. Instead, officers in the hallway found themselves facing the barrel of the gun, and behind it, James Christian wearing a bulletproof vest. What these officers didn't know at the time, the name Christian is reportedly the new identity for former Massachusetts resident James Billing, a convicted drug trafficker turned government witness. As part of the witness protection program, he got a new name, a new social security number, and a new life in South Florida worked as a bounty hunter, this wanted poster, his latest case. But his past as a convict should have prevented Christian from acquiring his bail bondsman's license, and more importantly, his weapons. Until, according to this police officer's attorney, Christian hooked up with an FBI agent. And that agent was his partner as a bounty hunter in that bondsman business, because he as a convicted felon couldn't have a license to do that. That suspended FBI agent showed up on scene that night, flashing his badge. But, according to the attorney, never telling anyone, Christian sat on this stockpile of weapons. No police officer was killed. No civilian was killed. But these people have an action, possibly against the U.S. government. They knew, that FBI agent on suspension knew, this fellow shouldn't have any arms. No official word from the FBI tonight, but at least two Hollywood police officers are reportedly considering filing a lawsuit against the U.S. government for the danger they were placed in and what might have happened on this street and in that building Tuesday night. In Hollywood, Glenna Milberg, 7 News, 19. Interestingly enough, some of the police officers believe that Christian was indeed trying to commit suicide but didn't have the courage at the last minute to actually pull it off. In the end, he set up this situation so police would have to take him out. A potentially lethal mistake at a West Boca rifle. Just one of the weapons that James Christian used during a wild shootout with police. Detectives say Christian fired over 100 rounds from his balcony above 1600 South Ocean Drive before he was shot and killed by a sharpshooter. Police say the 54-year-old had a history of mental problems. Well, the people of another Broward community hit the... ...old mom and 15-year-old dad claim the baby died accidentally while they were playing with her. But police say the child died of blunt trauma to her head. The man who sprayed a Hollywood neighborhood with dozens of bullets Wednesday night owned quite a cache of weapons. James Christian's elaborate personal arsenal was put on display today by the Hollywood police. An investigation has also uncovered that Christian was a bounty hunter with a criminal record and that he has a history of drug abuse and mental illness. The Florida Supreme Court has over... The eyes were caught in the middle of the violent outbreak. Miami Beach and the uh, Jackie Gleason Theater. It is from there that the President of the United States will address some local leaders and talk to them about the importance of this summit and why it may be important to us here in South Florida as well. Jeff